five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, look at that, see it says The Ramble, Alex, and we're here until midnight Eastern Time here on the East Coast of the United States, and uh, here I am, all in my glory. Uh, boy, that thing was over-modulating, that, uh, that promo, for uh, that old promo I played that... Uh, I, um, Albert had done years and years and years and years ago, about half-assed uh, radio, and it just uh, was o- over-modulating, and I don't understand. I don't. I really don't. This board has its problems with over-modulation. It, it can't take a certain signal going out through the uh, USB port. Hey, you don't want to know about that. I don't, I, I don't need to tell you. So anyway, oh, I'm a little tired. To, uh, boy, am I, I am tired tonight. I'll tell you what. I, um, uh, you know, I've been going through this radiation thing. Uh, and I hate to bore you with it, uh, but it, uh, you only have to bore you one more night. Because Monday is my last day of, of doing uh, the radiation. And I said to them today, I said on uh, Monday, uh, I expect a lollipop. And they said, actually, we give you a diploma. I said, what? They said, yeah, we have a little uh, little certificate we give you for having completed your radiation. And I went, oh, that's really nice. You know, that's, a, that's really nice. I've heard that in some of these places they do things like, um, I think she said that somebody can have to ring a bell or something. But they, my radiation will be over five treatments. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, not, you know, nothing horrible. I mean, the side effects are that I may have to run off to the bathroom during this show. Uh, but, uh, you know, that, uh, uh, outside of a certain little amount of discomfort, for the most part, I'm okay. But today, we're, I'm trying to watch a new show that uh, Marjorie wanted to watch on Netflix. And um, uh, I immediately, boom, was out like a light. And went out for about an hour and a half, she said. And I just passed out. And this happened to me the last time I had the radiation. It, 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 it's that the fatigue, supposedly, that you get, that mild fatigue, and that you just, boom, you're out. And I got to tell you, radiation sleep is really very restful sleep. You kind of like it, you know? Uh, it is not bad. So anyway, I... Um, <laughs> here's to all of you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, oh, by the way, a lot of people wonder what this shirt is. This is John Lennon. That's a shirt I got that was given to me uh, by uh, a food project that uh, Yoko is involved in. And she allows certain artwork from John to be used on T-shirts. And this one I especially like because that's his, uh, his, um, his self-portrait of himself. So in case you ever wonder what I'm wearing there, I thought I'd... I'd pass that along to you. But anyway, so I've been going through this thing, and uh, the, the uh, I, I just I fell asleep tonight, and I and I'm still tired. I'm still kind of like a little, little loopy, it, and I find like a day afterwards things start getting better, and then they get better, and I don't have another one till Monday. So by Monday I should be feeling pretty damn good, just in time for them to radiate me again. They have they have this machine, and it. Uh, it's uh, it, it, in some places they call the, the, the it's called stereotactic uh, radiation. What what that means, I have no idea. I just like the fact this has the word stereo in it because I always like stereo when I'm listening to stuff. I also like stereo uh, when I'm uh, 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 watching 3D movies and things like that. Okay, so anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, so. So, um, they, it's also sometimes they call it Cyberknife, but that's a trade name, and it's a certain machine that 
you know, a, a hospital can buy from this company that makes the thing called CyberKnife. But pretty much stereotactic is stereotactic, and uh, that's what I had. And it, it is this big machine, and they roll you right under it, and there's this little eye looking down at you. And then all of a sudden, everything starts to rotate, and they rotate like, um, uh, I think it's CT scans and things like that around you, so they can look at your prostate and see where they're going to aim it and get everything lined up, and then every now and then you're lying on this gurney and it moves up and down and sideways a little bit, and they're adjusting everything. And I've gotten to the point where uh, there's this one, I can't describe, it's just this one block of machinery that when it comes around, I consider it my friend. I don't know why. I just go, oh, hi, how you doing, my friend? Because for some reason, he's the most, the one with the least personality. He doesn't have any lenses in him. Uh, and uh, I just, but I've just come to kind of like him because when he's resting there, I know we were getting close to the end of the process. And today it was really quick. I mean, I got there at 1230 and I was out of there at 130. And the process itself only took about maybe uh, uh, 20 minutes, something like that. And I'm lying there as still as I possibly can be in my preformed uh, uh, gurney. Because they have this thing that have you lie in that's made to your shape, okay? And uh, I just, you know, sitting there holding this ring and, and all these things are going past me. And I finally learned when it's going to be over because there's a certain sound, uh, just a difference in sound that goes on. It's kind of like a little higher pitch sound. And I know the radiation is going on. Otherwise, I wouldn't know anything was happening. I mean, and then you just walk out and that's it. Goodbye, see you later. And then you go home and you sleep all all afternoon. <laughs> but you don't feel anything. You don't feel that anything physically has happened to you, but yet something very physically has happened to you. I mean, I've been heavily radiated. It's uh, hyper-radiated, uh, and it's pinpoint, and it's, um, it's pretty accurate, but it isn't the only thing they're going to do in order to take care of my, uh, of my uh, uh, prostate cancer. Uh, next, uh, I, I, on the 25th, I get what we call uh, uh, seeds, which are going to cause more of a problem. I'll do the show here, but I may have to run out to the bathroom at various times. Uh, I'm, maybe the first few days after I have it, I won't be able to do a show just because I'm not going to feel as well. But after that's over with, all the treatment for this prostate cancer is done. And the only thing that I have to worry about is it coming back. And there's only about a, something like a 92% chance it won't. Okay, there's an 8% chance it could. And then if it does, they give you some hormone treatments, and that takes it down. But for the way I am and where it is and the fact that it hasn't gone outside the prostate, uh, the chances are really almost nil that uh, I, it's going to come back. Uh, or that it's going to come back in my lifetime because, you know, at my age, I could go at any moment. <sighs> I just want it to be over with. I just want it to be boom. And then after that's through with, I get my de dental implant. Oh, wow. And I'm spending the bucks like crazy because uh, I'm medical stuff. But uh, the only reason I don't want to get the, um, the implant done is uh, if I live, say, another year, I've wasted my money. If I live another 15 years, well, it was worth doing, okay? So you got to get that like, yeah, well, should I do it or shouldn't I do it? I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's, if it's worth doing or not, so whatever. Anyway, I uh, I uh, uh, got something I got a, I had to gripe about last night. Um, I do the show, and I just saw, and once we went over a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which thank you very much for all the people out there who did this for me that went ahead and uh, excuse me, I got to look at some stuff here uh, that went ahead and and. Uh, uh, subscribe because I asked. I said, I really want to subscribe. Get all this over a thousand so I can get some perks, all right? So one of the perks I got was that I could run commercials. 
uh, they place the commercials. They put the commercials on. And I can choose where I want to put them. I, I, I've said I want them at the beginning of the show, before the show starts, and at the end. And these commercials, after about five seconds, you can click through and just go right directly to the show. And I put a thing up on, um, on YouTube, on uh, Facebook a couple of days ago, asking if anybody would be mind if I did that. And I don't think to the person I got anybody who complained about it. Uh, they said, look, if that's going to help make you a few little pennies, which is all it's going to do, pennies is the best way of putting it, uh, it's going to be, it's going to take, a, you know, it, 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 go ahead and do it. So I started it a couple of days ago, and it was fine. I, I monetized it, and it comes up on my thing here saying monetization and whatever. Well, last night I go to it, and it's yellow, and it says it cannot be monetized or limited monetization because of uh, content. The content has to meet a certain specification so that certain sponsors will want it, okay? And I'm trying to think about, well, what did I do last night that I don't do on any other night? And then I remembered that I, I, I did a whole diatribe of nothing but one curse word after another and ended it with that damn Trump, whatever, you know? That blah, 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 Trump. And I think that's what triggered it, okay? which pissed the sh crap out of me. I want to be monetized. Um, it's not going to stop me, folks. Let me put it that way. It's not going to stop me. I don't give a rat's butt. See how I'm cleaning things up? Because I don't, I don't want it to trigger it yet. Um, but what, what it is is they've got these machines now at, uh, at YouTube and I'm at Facebook, too, where they monitor... What, the language that's being used, but it's all an, an algorithm. It's not a human being listening and hearing the context in which I say those words. And so therefore, all of a sudden, I don't get monetization for that episode because I said a four-letter word. Uh, I don't think it's just one. I think it was the string of epithets that I was giving against Trump. But I've done it before, and I'll do it again, and... Uh, I feel that way about them, okay? So uh, it's, it cannot monetize, blah, 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 blah. And I got really pissed about this. I wonder if I can get that across. Pissed, pissed, pissed. Let me say that a couple times. Pissed. Let's see if that triggers it. We'll find out afterwards. So uh, last night, I just, I just didn't know what to do with it. So um, uh, I uh, went on Facebook and I told my audience about it. And, I, I, and it really does bother me because... The fact is that a machine is deciding what I can say and what I can't say, and machines don't have the ability to connote context, okay? So if I'm saying something completely political and I'm using four-letter epithets to describe it because I hate the person so much that I'm talking about, and that is part of my political comment, uh, the algorithms in these uh, computers don't see that. All they see is... The F word, the C word, the this word, the that word, right? Uh, and uh, I mean, it, 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 that, that bothers me because I, I think that a human being should be monitoring that and determining it and saying, well, you know, he's saying it in the context of the fact that he doesn't like Trump and blah, 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 and it's his way of displaying his ire about Donald Trump. Uh, but no, no. You know, so that then allows them to run a commercial, perhaps for some product which hurts people. You know, it may be a, a, a potato chip that has far too many chemicals in it, you know, or something like that. So, um, and plus, you know, we do have a president who uh, the other day on national television said, "Let's see if we let's see if we get into trouble for this." The president said bullshit on national television. He said it not in a private conversation that was recorded or anything like that. He said it uh, at his uh, press conference, uh, uh, his uh, big rally of uh, people at the White House uh, who came to see him gloat about not getting impeached or not getting convicted, 
He was impeached, and he will always be impeached, but he was convicted, but not convicted. And he used the term bullshit. Well, if the president says it, why can't I say it? Why can't I say other words? Why is that okay? Which led me to think, and I, I really got to question YouTube about this, because uh, it is a, 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 an important question. And that is, they say that, for instance, uh, every now and then, if I run some music here, just any song, I will get a, a little strike that says uh, uh, this, this uh, uh, show contained music that uh, is copywritten, and uh, therefore you can't monetize the program, and uh, the uh, pr people who uh, own the music are allowed to run a commercial in order for you to pay for it or whatever. And, uh, okay, so they, 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 they strike you for using what they consider to be copyrighted material. The problem with this is I go on YouTube and there are hundreds of people, maybe thousands, who have what they do, little compilations like, who was the best captain on Star Trek? And then they will show video taken from the show, literally lifted from the show, of, say, Kirk or uh, Picard or Janeway or um, uh, any one of the other captains of the Enterprise. And, and they will show clips of that and clips of them doing stuff. And these are clips with sound in them. And I'm thinking to myself, well, wait a minute, now how come they get to do that? And they run, there were commercials and so on that run before them. Well, how come they can do that and they don't get taken off or they don't get stopped or they don't get bleeped out because they're using copyrighted material? And I'm thinking of writing YouTube and saying, how is that? How do they, how, what are the rules that allow them to show copyrighted material on their program, on their, in their videos. Uh, and, there are, and, there, and as you know, if you go to YouTube, and I do because I like watching YouTube, there's a lot of interesting stuff on there. But there's nothing but, but clips from shows and clips from movies and, 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 and stuff like that. And I, I never could quite come to the conclusion of how they can do that and then they don't, they go and run their little commercials in the shows and everything. I, I don't understand it. So I don't understand the rules over there at YouTube, but I know that YouTube uh, uh, has an algorithm, I guess, and, and, and some computer is listening to me right now you know, or will listen to me the minute that I post this show after we're through uh, that is going to say, oh, that was too dirty. That was too dirty. So let's test it right now, tonight. Now, what happened was in the succeeding 24 hours, I go to that, uh, those, uh, those monetization uh, things that t turned yellow, and now they're green, saying it's okay, to, the shows can be monetized. So what happened in that 24 hours? And I, they have a thing called review, and I asked for a review, and then I decided not to. So I don't think they reviewed it, but they, they changed both of my videos because I post two of them. I post one, which is the one I'm recording right now, and I'm, I post one that is the actual show that goes up on YouTube right now, okay? Uh, and uh, both of them were all of a sudden green. I could monetize, and I can't understand what happened. I, it just all of a sudden it changed. So let me try a little experiment tonight so that we can see what happens. And uh, I, uh, you know, if this gets uh, the yellow button on there, uh, I'm going to see if it turns green. And if it doesn't turn green, I'm going to ask for a review. And then a human being will actually have to listen to this program and watch what I am doing. Okay? So you've already gotten the message, YouTube. I consider this whole practice totally unfair and only run by a computer. So here's something for the computer so it can do its job. You ready? Okay? Motherfucker, cocksucker, cunt, piss. Um, uh, I'm running out of words. Um, um, uh, uh, fucking, uh, motherfucking uh, asshole ream uh, felcher. Okay? Now, let's see now if... Uh, 
when I, after I'm through the show, which probably most of it will be very clean, because what I just did, um, it will suddenly say, uh, you can't be monetized. Boom. Sponsors don't want to be involved with something like that. Okay, but then I'll ask, ask for a review if after a day it hasn't turned green, and I will, uh, I'll, uh, I'll um, force them to have to listen to this show, which is, is, is a penalty in and of itself. Okay, all right? Okay. Anyway, hey, I got something for you. I just wanted to play this for you. I, I went back in my files, and I found this, and I always tell you about the, um, the uh, Iowa caucus. And how I like the Iowa caucus. That, that there was something about it that was charming and it was rural and it had a certain hands-on American thing to it. And um, so we went up a couple of years ago to Iowa when I was at to Sirius XM, a whole bunch of us, and I did my shows from Iowa, from the Iowa caucus. And we were allowed into a caucus where we were doing interviews and things like that. And I was actually videotaping it as well. And so I thought I'd show you the part of the videotape that shows you the actual caucus process so you can get an idea of what the caucus is all about and why I kind of like it and why I kind of find it charming. All right, so let's go to Iowa. This is, God, Obama won this particular caucus. Yeah, that's how far back it was. And, and see what it's like, the Iowa caucus. Uh, here we go, okay? So here we are at the caucus. So here we are at the caucus. Here we are at the caucus. Here we are at the here caucus. Here we are at the caucus. And uh, I think we're about the only people here, actually. I think this we, is we, the may caucus be, room. we may be the caucus. This, <laughs> oh, look. Oh, no, they're starting to show. They're starting to show. It looks like my eighth grade dance. Huh? It looks like my eighth grade dance. Enchantment under the stars. That's Nicholas Johnson, who's formerly the head of the FCC and probably one of the best that we ever had. I mean, he really wanted stations to do their job and serve the public interest convenience and necessity. Here's, they all get to line up if they... Obama's got cookies. Yeah, they, they give out cookies and things like that, but, but I think Hillary's got sandwiches. There is one, two people over at Dodd, so he's not going to be viable. Oh, that's sad, isn't it?
my second choice. If it doesn't go as well, let's keep that alive and let's get Biden in the forefront where he can still do his foreign policy and get really well known for that. And I know that's only going to happen in Edwards' administration. I don't see someone like Hillary who has her connection to the world, someone like Obama. He really doesn't have you know, the kind of thing. He really can unite America with those policies. So, you know, it's, a, it's not about, like, everyone can build a good policy, but it's who's going to produce that policy. Because they're really active. Yeah. With electability, she's just, I mean, and I, 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 I don't want to negative. I like John. She's like in my top five. Right? Coming together, right? Really well. You guys said this, that was a stupid no, argument. So no, I, I didn't talk about it. But I didn't say that. There's a black person. Years of your life, and you're not getting any well, experience out of it. Are you kidding me? She's been Are you kidding? Her, like, all, her this guy does like me. I love that HD camera, baby. Yeah. Let's go. I'm a great on TV. Okay, now that you're wrong, now you're saying experience. You just said, now you're going to say experience doesn't count. I'm not saying that she doesn't have experience, but I'm saying that you're not, she's not the most important. You're talking about living in the White House. I would say White being president would be the most important. Should I talk? Yeah. So look at the Bush administration. They have lots of experience in their family, and look what they've done with the U.S. government. Experience is the most important thing. What's what matter? And that was um, that was that was what the caucus is all about, and what it's like. That and if you watched it, watch what I showed you there. You see why I found it so charming, okay? That there was something very grassroots about it, and the fact that these people were trying they, their job was to convince other people to come over to their line, uh, and uh, these were people who say didn't meet the fifteen percent, and so they had to find some other line to go into. And, and there are these people, I mean, it was so grassroots. I just, there was just something I really liked about it, okay? And uh, I, I'm, uh, uh, so I, I wanted you to see that because it's, it's really, it's char it was charming. It was just charming. Anyway, as I say, at some point in the evening, I'm probably going to have to run off to the bathroom, but uh, because I just had the, I had, you know, this is, I think this, is this the first day that I've done the show? Or no, actually the other day, um, uh, Saturday, uh, Friday, uh, Wednesday, I did the show. Wednesday night after I did the uh, this uh, thing with the with the uh, oh, I'm, my mind. I've got I've got radiation brain um, uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the radiation. So uh, anyway, I the other night towards the end of the show, my stomach was really bothering me. But this will all be over after a while and we can get on with life you know and i can decide what i want to do with the rest of it okay lines are open by the way in case uh, you haven't looked there they are uh and we're just sitting here waiting for you to call uh and, you know we're starting this a little bit later than we normally do here comes scott Boddicker. Here he is. Here's Scott. Scott's the first one on the. Uh, uh, oh, there's hardly any light there, Scott. Oh, I gotta turn my light on. Excuse yeah, me. yeah. Turn your, turn your, turn your goddamn light on, will you? I had had a guy run by my door and knocked on the door, so I was sitting in the dark hoping he fucker comes back. Oh, okay. Anyway, let me see here. Let me uh, do a little transition and, here, and there you are. There's Scott Boddicker, ladies and, and gentlemen. I knew that. I knew the. I knew it was on, but I wasn't going to log in until you fucking invited us. So I yeah. don't want to get yelled at but, by you. No, I mean, you don't get yeah. I, you know, I I like you. Uh, I, uh, I'm just teasing you, but you, you yell at you yell at Jeff. And Jeff hardly ever calls in first anymore. Uh, 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 <laughs> Oh, come on, I don't. The, 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 me yelling at people only has to do with, with my crankiness, you know. Oh, uh, you know. I hope to be like you when I get your age, because I'm already starting to be cranky. So I'm, I'll, I'll get there soon. Uh, Josh Wheeler is calling. Let's see here. He, uh, uh, we need to uh, put him in a space here. Hold on a second. I don't see Josh yet. Wait a minute. Where is it? Let me cancel. Rob Alfano is calling. Let me see here. Okay, now uh, let me let me go to this thing here and get somebody in that number three spot. Uh, uh, we'll put. Um, 
We'll put, uh, let's see, Rob Alfano. There's Rob. Okay. All right. Rob's there. And then we go over to our six pack and we start looking for people. And I think, they, I think, um, are you, are you, are you, um, oh, hold on a second. Who else is there? Um, is Josh Wheeler? There he is. Let me get Josh in here. There's Josh's picture. Come on, Josh. There we go. And then I do another transition so that we get him in there. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you this evening? Real good. And I'm sorry. I'm glad to see you back tonight, Rob. I thought after last night you might not want to come back immediately. I had a bit of a headache afterwards, but uh, yes, yes. <laughs> so, Is this your attempt at being positive? <laughs> there's no attempt at being positive. Like, it just doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. And and uh, I I uh, I'm so happy you came back too, Rob. Uh, I was uh, in fact no. I was I was thinking of writing you and apologizing for last night's show. No, okay. no, 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 no. There's not, no need to apologize. When I have it up to here, and again, I don't pay attention to the news, and so I get all worked up, you know. Yeah. Um, I get worked up on it. That's why I don't pay attention to it, because I'm a yeah. fucking nut. Pardon yeah. me, I heard you're we're not supposed to Oh, curse. say, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't give a good God fucking goddamn shit, <laughs> motherfucker. I missed that part. What? They're going to take away your thousand uh, uh, subscribers. No, they won't take away my thousand subscribers. They just say you can't monetize this because you said some curse words. No. Uh, well, I, nobody heard me say them. Their computer computed that I had said them. Okay. Hey, if some of these guys get like a million, million and a half followers, I've been watching this guy who is an American, looks like milk toast, and uh, you know, looks like Josh. And he walks. Wait in, a minute. Uh, Just he be walks nice. Around Chinatown. Yeah. He, and, and he speaks fluent Chinese. So he walks around Chinatown in New York. And, uh, you know, he starts in English and then he starts talking in Chinese. And they go, wow, I can't believe this guy is so fluent. And, and uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, this is what the guy does. And he's got a million point six subscribers. Can you imagine how much money he's making running around eating Chinese food? Well, I guess as long as he doesn't say shit, fuck, motherfucker. Uh, he's not because he's getting the money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Watch. There's a computer back at, at YouTube who is going. So what? So what, if this thing turns yellow for the next 24 hours and doesn't change to green. I'm going to ask for a review, so they have to listen. Someone, a human, has to listen to this show and realize that this show has value and that everything's contextual. Is that why I didn't hear any commercial last night afterwards? No. After you posted it? Oh, after I posted it, no. Well, because they put up that little yellow thing, so I just said, don't monetize it, you know. And oh. then uh, today I said, monetize it, and uh, all of a sudden it went green. Uh, it, 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 instead of yellow, saying, "Oh, it can be monetized." So I don't know. I don't know what happened. You know, in the meantime, yeah, uh, so is uh, that money green? Huh? Money green. Money green. Yeah. But you know, I just, I just, uh, it just, I, it, it, uh, pedioed me. It pedioed me. Okay. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to be nice here. Let's see here, Bree. There's Bree. Okay. Bree, okay. Uh, Just give me one minute. Huh? You can have two. What, Bree? You don't have any lights on in the room? He's in koala. Just, gonna... <laughs> just, just getting out of the shower. Oh. <laughs> oh. There goes your monetization. Yeah, there goes my monetization, right? No nudity. They say no. They know. Say no. There's no nudity. Right. You know, I can understand them not wanting pornography. They can, you know, that's their their right to to do that. You know, I have friends who have some cigar channels and on and they made a ton of money on YouTube, and now YouTube is taken away. You can't monetize tobacco, alcohol, firearms. They, and not just YouTube, because there's that. Have you heard of Patreon? Patreon. Yeah. So Patreon is another service like YouTube, but it's a subscription-based thing, right? So mm -hmm. the idea is because 
um, people like the cigar people who I follow who were making money on YouTube because they were monetizing it, right? They had right. 10,000 subscribers and yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, Patreon, you sign up and people pay to watch you. Like you could have tier one, tier two, tier three, and as you go up in tiers, you, yeah. the monthly cost to the subscriber is more, right? Yeah. And they get benefits for that. And now Patreon has il has eliminated all tobacco, alcohol, and firearms. Um, and so has Facebook. You can't, you know, Facebook doing the same thing. And so they're 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 what they're trying to watch what content is put up on their service. That's why YouTube is doing that. I'll tell too. you what really bothers me about that, and I, I I don't think you should smoke, and I'm not a drinker and all of that, but uh, why shouldn't they be able to advertise? You know, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a climate. You know what I mean? I think it, it a lot of it has to do with just political climate. Well, I mean, it's a political correctness. I mean, years ago they went, oh, you want to, you want to advertise to they listen? They'd be running Winston ads before my show if this Absolutely. were a few years ago. Okay, so I mean, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess they own the store, so I got to abide by the rules. But I don't have to like the rules. And the fact is, and I'm going to say this. And I'm sure if they wind up listening to this, uh, they're going to be laughing when I say it. But, you know, I add value to them. However little value I add, I add value to them because they are using my talents, and my talent is how I made my money and how I made my living for years and years and years in the broadcasting business. Mm -hmm. They are using my talent to just up their value a little bit, whatever yeah. I add I like to that. Yeah. That's called ZCC. What? It's it's how the social media operates. It's zero cost content. We all provide wow. our essentially our private lives, our pictures, our photos, our connections, mm -hmm. and they monetize it. Yeah, they don't get paid in. Yep, uh, you're absolutely correct. But what I'm saying is, is that I do um, um, add to it. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, I should, uh, you know, they, we, we, they should be a little more caring about that instead of trying to tell us. I mean, I read all the things you can't do. Hello, Tony. Uh, I, I read all the things you can't do. And I went, this is goddamn this is fucking ridiculous. You know, it just is moronic. I think part of that is uh, was a pushback from... When all that stuff on uh, the NRA was, you know, when, after the the school shooting where the kids really went out and they and they protested mm -hmm. and they had the big Parkland. march, Parkland, it was right? Logan Paul, and and uh, the NRA went out like in full force and was all over YouTube with videos about you know pro gun, pro gun. I think that was the beginning of it. It sort of sparked them to say, you know what, we don't want this stuff on our platform, and they really started to police it more. Yeah. Where's the it yellow? Logan Paul. I, I'm, I'm looking... It I'm was lo specifically Logan Paul. Yeah, I, I'm looking at a bunch of gun things on YouTube, like 1911 versus Glock, uh, which one wins, eight reasons why the 1911 is better, uh, $500 gun versus $3,000 gun. There, There's nothing restricting it. I don't see any huh. yellow or no red. No you can't monetize it. Yeah, you could show the video, but there's no monetization. They can't make money off that. You can't make money. I just uh, pressed it, and uh, there doesn't seem to be a commercial. Yeah. Yeah, there's no monetization on alcohol, tobacco, firearms. Oh, huh. is that bad? Like if the FBI sees your computer and sees you doing, like, uh, gun YouTube stuff? <laughs> is it, like, kitty porn? No. I don't think you're, like, doing something illegal. There's millions of people that shoot guns that have nothing Absolutely. to do with it. Well, here, here is another thing. It says no hate speech. I want them to define hate speech because uh, uh, I'll, I'll do some, I'll, I'll do some hate speech right now. I hate pizza. I've never liked pizza. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate pizza. He's prejudiced against the Italians. No, I'm not prejudiced against <laughs> no, the Italians. I just hate pizza. Oh God! You, you never liked. Pizza. I hate. I hate. I hate eggplant. Pizza okay. is socialistic. They take a circle 
and they divide it into triangles. Food and that's uh, wait hate speech. <laughs> they, they, they divide the pizza into triangles, and everybody gets an equal piece. This is very socialistic. I knew eight slices to a pie. Well, in that case, in that case, I don't hate pizza. <laughs> right. <laughs> So I wonder if I'll be accused of hate speech now by their fucking computer. Excuse me, their bleeping computer. You know, I mean, I just, I just think that what started out as an electronic Hyde Park, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but in England and London there's a place called Hyde Park, and every Sunday there's people can get up on soapboxes and stand there and give their speeches and give speeches about things. And you go from place to place listening to all these speeches, and, and no speech is, uh, is, is, is uh, what can we call it, is, uh, is uh, um, said that you, you, any kind of speech is welcomed, okay? And I consider this, the, I, you know, when you had YouTube and you had uh, Facebook and you had a bunch of other things, to be an electronic Hyde Park. And it isn't any longer because now they're telling you, you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't do this and you can't do that. It was supposed to be a thing for socializing, that to meet people, to connect with old friends, uh, and and to show your grandkids pictures. And it turned into uh, something that is is sick and vile. Yeah, that's right. What YouTube or Facebook? Facebook. Oh. And, 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 and why? And, and, College dating thing. And why has it become vile? It's become vile because of the division between those that uh, uh, feel that their way of life is right and the no, other people. I, I don't. I don't think that's the reason why at all. I think it's that. I, I think Facebook has has and 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 to a lesser extent YouTube because I. I I really do like YouTube for the most part. You know, I'm just arguing about. Their their kind their kind of censorship. I mean, Facebook censorship is absolutely absurd. That's why I don't run my show on Facebook any longer. It's uh, like the Crusades, you know, uh, during the medieval times. Uh, you know, they 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 march, they kill, and but now they just drive by and call you a moron and an Islamophobe. I don't think they know really uh, how to handle social media, and I think. There's overreactions right now mm -hmm. because the Internet's supposed to be open and free. But when you do that, people get to the lowest common denominator, and that's not good. And you get a lot of fake news and a lot of false stuff being put on there. And then you get Facebook being blamed for, you know. Elections, well, yeah, maybe an election. Well, I, I think that there's a thing called uh, common carrier status. Uh, uh, you have that, though. Huh? Cable has it. Yeah, but not, yeah. not Facebook. I know. But there should be the equivalent of common carrier status. What that is is that if you open up your doors to people to write anything they want to write or to video anything they want to video, that the company, like Facebook, like YouTube, are not responsible for that content, okay? Because it, it's, it's, it's the people who are doing it. And, and, and uh, uh, common... Uh, 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 Having that ability to not be blamed for it would then maybe not make them be as safe as they are. But here, they've got a computer with an algorithm in it. It's not even me. It's not even some person who was listening to my show last night went, oh, well, we can't put that on because the advertisers won't like that. It's because some computer heard motherfucker, cocksucker, cunt. Okay? And immediately... And by the way, if I'm putting this up for review and... You're at uh, YouTube now, and you're watching this, okay? Then uh, be, be aware of the fact that we are making social comment here and are using these words for social comment, all right? But your computer couldn't tell you that, so you're having to listen to this stupid, dumb, horrible show all the way through because I asked for a review. You know what they're going to tell you? What? Fuck you. They probably take. They probably take me off. They may take me off. Yeah. You know. It takes and, three to six months for a review. Does it? Wow. Yep. The, at the bare minimum. Why don't we all just do Alex a favor and say every mic is a live mic and let him make some money? Uh, every mic is a live mic. What do you mean? Don't curse. Well, I. You know something. 
Uh, that, You'll notice I never have. Uh, I would rather, uh, you know, the running of commercials on this program is not going to, it's going to make me 25 cents a week. Doesn't okay. matter. It's the beginning. Well, I. If no, you had done this, imagine if you had thought to do this back when you first started doing this. It would be interesting. Yeah, I'd have like uh, $15 now. No, I, you know what? These people make money. These guys, these people yeah, on yeah, yeah, Facebook. But, but, but I, I'm not doing the kind of thing that goes out and gets 100,000 viewers. Right. If you were if you were being uh, monetized, I wonder whether Facebook's uh, not Facebook, but uh, YouTube's algorithm would have you come up more in searches uh, because there is uh, money to be made from advertisers. Well, I mean, all I'm saying is, I mean, I'd like to know what it's how you get a hundred thousand subscribers. You know, what do I have to do? What is the subject matter? Because as you're saying, if some guy is going through Chinatown and he's got how many viewers, how many subscribers? 1.6 million. How many? 1.6 million. 1.6 million, and he's simply going around Chinatown saying gung hei fat choy. Basically, you know? although yeah. he's, he's amazing. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but uh, Now, you know, I, I always think about this, Alex. I, I watch YouTube a lot. Yeah. And there are these guys who will... Uh, they come over to, well, I mean, it's all over the world, but especially in Southeast Asia, and they'll say, uh, you know, how, how to get married to a Thai woman or how to, be, where to go in the Philippines. And there's, there's one guy who, I, I think he is from Australia, and he met a Thai woman, and then they, they, they film the, their going around Thailand and how it's interesting for him to experience things. And then she comes to Australia, and it's interesting how she experiences it. They have 200,000 views, and the guy has 80,000 subscribers. It's, and it's, to me, it's totally boring. And, and some people will go, uh, here's the best place to go. I could literally, I mean, if I take my phone, I could go to, you know, KL, to Petronas Towers, and say, you know, what it's like when you visit Kuala Lumpur, and i probably get 80,000 views. And yet here we are discussing the issues of the day, you know, and offer, and we're from all over. Everybody's from different parts of the states, but talking about these issues and and yet this can't get 80,000 views you know, you know it, it boggles my mind you I'll see this you. guy this guy his name is Jared Poland he's known as Fro Nose Photo the guy with the fro next to me mm -hmm. he's got 2 million subscribers 2 looks, million looks like a negative <laughs> well, well it's on my phone no i mean it's just the complete opposites right there yeah like look at phil look at him <laughs> 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 right. but, but i gotta tell you i, I Alex, don't think people can... are first of all how long is his video so his time spent viewing is probably very low and a lot of people they see something hey that's kind of kill boom and they hit subscribe and they probably never watch something no he again. has he has a following and he has his videos some are longer some are shorter he sells content you know, you can buy his tapes and, and DVDs, uh, but you know, he, he gives a lot away. He was uh, uh, sort of a protege of Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk uh, was an early big social media YouTube. guy, branding. Yeah, uh, uh, an early YouTube. Uh, Which means style over substance. You know, Alex, I'll bet I know how you can make a lot of money. How's that? You do what I used to do back in the early, early days of GabNet with the Rewind show. Mm -hmm. And instead of putting two hours of content up every night, the two-hour show, yeah. you take the interviews you do and you make like a five-minute thing. And then you, you, you take a topic in this 90-minute citizen panel and you put up five minutes of it. And with plus clickbait. you got to have yeah. clickbait. That well, yeah. But what, that what we could do is... More views than a two-hour video. If we say, okay, everybody, we're going to talk about the democratic debates, you know, and then we, we're going to time it at 10, 8 to 10 minutes. And then we put on the headline, uh, you know, Alex says, Buttigieg gets slammed at debate, you know, yeah. or Klobuchar wipes them, wipes them up at the debate. Right. Then there you go. That's right. what you have to put. Exactly. And then you'll make a lot of money with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, could be. Well, I, I just looked to see. And by the way, everybody piled on Pete Buttigieg tonight. I, I, well, that's, your, that's your thing. And then we talk about that for eight minutes. Right. I guarantee you we'll get 10,000 hits. Let's, let's set a rundown for the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just looked to see what, uh, what YouTube video I have up that is the most watched. And it's uh, my Burning Man video. Yeah. From 1996, 3.1 million. 
thousand views. Okay, uh, three point one k. So uh, thirty one hundred, thirty one hundred views for that because it was Burning Man. You know. Well, um, that's the thing. Yeah. It's the topic. It's and it's you name it. Like just like uh, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm drawing a I've book. I've got one. Yeah. They were looking I've for got new one, and I've said, I've said this before, and I will, I'll bet everybody $100 on this panel, U.S. dollars, not cabinet dollars. We, I show the Blackpink's latest video, the Korean K-pop band, and we put Citizen Alex Bennett Ramble, Citizen Panel, reacts to K-pop. I guarantee you we get 10,000 hits. Guarantee you. And if we don't, I'll pay you $100. I guarantee we get, if we react to... Blackpink's K-pop, we would get ten thousand. This guy. As a base okay, let no, me let me than. do this as an experiment. Okay. This, this, Alex, this guy I bought my computer from. He's a friend of mine. Yeah. He's got six hundred thousand subscribers. He, all he does is talk about photography. Okay. His name is Ranger. Yeah, yeah. But what we could do is, I could after the show, I could change the title of one of the videos to. Um, what 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 did you say we should call it with K-pop? Uh, it's some oh, band. Though. Citizen panel reacts to K-pop. Okay. But then you have to put our stills. We all have to go like this. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And yeah. Then you put oh, that's too much work. I just want to I just want to change the name of it. You know. Yeah, but then that that'll work. No, well. you have to have the content. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna have clickbait, you gotta have the bait. Oh, okay. If you say so. Uh, but the, the thing that you can do is you could put in it. I mean, again, it would require structure. We'd have to say like, okay, we're going to have topics, you know, and the first 10 minutes is the Iowa debate. And the second 10 minutes is, you know, Trump's uh, Medal of Freedom to Russian Barbara. And then you take those clips, you have a timeline with the minutes, and then you break those out. So the well, whole thing's two hours, but then you have eight to 10 minutes. Seconds. Yeah, it's too much work. I just that, didn't. That's what, exactly. I to a boy. <laughs> it's what I used to do with rewind, though, right? I used to take, I used to take, you know, a topic. I'd listen to the shows, and then I would take the hottest discussion. Yeah, and we would play those, right? Right. It's, it, that kind of thing. I think that, you know, would would garner a lot, a lot of interest. Can you can you grab three to five minutes of something? Well, no, at, it's uh, a matter of me editing it and taking the time out, and I just don't know right now with all that's going on in my life if I have time to do that. You and know? we're not all we're not all giving you, you know, the right bite size nuggets. You know, we'd all have to sort of be on our vest. And you know, Phil's got his microphone there. Rob, you got your microphone. You're you're ready to go. We'd have to like pretend that we were, you know, in the mass media and. You know, and 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 focusing on the people out there, like, hey, everybody, yeah, did you watch the yeah. Iowa debate? That's I'm really happy that you did, did a great job. But that's not yeah. what Alex is after. He's after non-professionals uh, to uh, to populate his. And that's yeah. fine, but we're talking about monetizing and making money with and getting more and yeah. more subscribers. I think that Alex should play on his stuff from the '60s and '70s, where he was the leader of the of the youth movement on radio. You know, the youth would Good. listen to Alex because they liked what he was saying, and he had a lot of influence on them. He yeah, did on he has, has to talk about K-pop. It's 50 years old, though. So, so what topics so, are going to get the young yeah. people? Yeah, well, old people listen to YouTube also. True. Uh, yeah, but not at the numbers that the, you know, the 14-year-old girls have the biggest following, right? Do yeah. any of you have cats? I do. Go Two. I do. Uh, I have the movie? <laughs> <laughs> if you have a cat or, or a dog and... Like you have a portable uh, camera. Mm -hmm. If we can do like two mi two minutes with Rob's cats, you know, <laughs> there you go. What about my mom sleeping. <laughs> just clip that. Ten thousand. Tony's I mom sleeps. Just yeah, paint cotton wood. wood. A little woman cutting wood. <laughs> Fine, it's a good one. <laughs> I've got a bunch of cats in my neighborhood. If I took a little my camera out and do like you know cat bites in the Kuala Lumpur neighborhood. Are any 10, of them? You know. I thought they served them up at the restaurants. Do you, no, that's do you think they cook the cats? They always just the same. I that. know that's why you're into plant based. <laughs> we and we've lost uh, uh, we've <laughs> lost Josh, I think. Yeah. Well, and that's another thing you could do with Josh. Josh has an expertise, you that's know, cool. in uh, 
history, American history and things like that. So you could do, a, you know, a five minute segment on, um, you know, what would Lincoln do or so, something with Josh, you know, and that yeah. 10,000 hits. Hey, well, what happened to Josh? And I wonder... You put in the title, Trump is no Lincoln. Trump is, Trump, a, yeah. Trump is no Lincoln. Yeah. He wants slaves. 10,000 hits. <laughs> 10,000. Don't let him go. Keep him. I need him still for the weekend. <laughs> Well, you know, you can also do it with tags. I can just you put could. tags yeah. on the show. You know, That's, we need. Uh, and there's actually. Uh, who's got the elf on the shelf? Buddha Judge. Elf on a shelf. You Our interview good. with, you know. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, as a tag for this show tonight, I'm, I'm going to put K pop. Is that K P O P? Yeah. Yeah, but you see, you get people pissed off too, and they give you down. Well, well, we did. We Who gives a shit? So well, that's good then. Yeah. Although I probably can't monetize this now because I said of, shit. You know, BTS and Blackpink are you know two yeah. of the hottest acts right now. They, they, BTS may be working with Ariana Grande. That they claim that that might be coming out. Mm -hmm. um, oh, was... I Am Entertainment is just off the charts with its revenue. Uh, many people believe that's because of Blackpink. And uh, you know, Lisa has decided she's not going to China because of the coronavirus. She's not going to be playing an event there for sponsorship. So there, we covered K-pop. Okay. Hey, were you just reading that from somewhere, or do you know this for a fact? I know all this. I do know think... everything about them. Well, why don't we do a K-pop show with you and I'm get a million one, viewers? I'm Army. Huh? I think huh? you, John Lennon is not listening to this show. <laughs> hey, Bree, do you think he can monetize the okay. movie reviews that he run? It's a short piece. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea. I mean, but all of it, you know, Alex, you have this in your ability. You have that. You have it. It's just, I, you know, we're more. This is different. We're we're Street sort of the uh, we're the citizens panel, you know. Yeah. Well, you know. I, anyway, all I'm saying is, bottom line on this whole thing is, is that it's all very inconsistent and it's also very self-serving for these companies. Um, and. Uh, but I, on the other hand, I can understand why a sponsor might not want to be associated with somebody who says horrible four-letter words. But That's really, true. you should probably they should probably break these things up and say, well, this advertiser doesn't mind it, or this advertiser doesn't mind political talk. I mean, <clears throat> actually, there are going to be advertisers out there. I got to tell the, to the person who's listening to this at YouTube. There are going to be people out there, sponsors, who don't want to be associated with political programming. Who do, or or or, or or right wing political programming or left wing political programming, and yet you're not taking that into consideration. Alex's yeah. answer to Alex Jones, you know, so you know people that are searching for Alex Jones would end up on, uh, you know, with this. Yeah. Put a hashtag, put a hashtag of, of Alex Jones. Right. I watch a guy like that. who is, uh, he's in Thailand. He's in Koh Samui. He's an Indian guy. He has full body tattoo. And he grew up in Sharjah and in Dubai. And he he does personal branding and he helps people get jobs back in the UAE. But he he goes over the news that he reads online. And then he gives his own personal opinion about yeah. things going on there. He has massive numbers because a lot of the news topics, people can't, you know, they don't really talk about it. So he'll he'll break it down. He'll say, here's what they say in the media, but here's what I really think is going on. And he uses swear words all the time. I mean, he's got a... That's a good format for this. You know, you, you, you look at an article, and yeah. everybody kind of chimes in, and Alex uh, ro rodeos them up. Yeah. If you but, take... Like yeah, it's called agenda surfing. We could agenda surf. You take the top... You know, you look at what the top uh, videos are, you know, whatever the top topics, and then we say, okay, for five minutes, we're going to talk about this. Mm -hmm. And that's... If you wanted to, that's, you know... I, you know, it's it's all about narrow casting on on YouTube. I mean, I follow a coffee website where they do nothing but review new products, new coffees, new espresso machines and cappuccino machines and and different recipes and they try them and they taste they have tasting parties and I saw one of those and it had the coffee that Alex drinks and 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 several others. I think I might have sent it to Alex where they reviewed uh, 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 you know, the uh, Death Wish and uh, the other one that uh, Alex is using. It was very interesting, actually. I and love that. Someone channel. for me, I never drink coffee, so I would never see it. You know, right. That's and the I narrow 
I'm a home I'm a home automation guy, right? I have all this, uh, you know, all the different hubs and my lights go on and off and my everything is controlled by home automation. There's a great... It can be hacked easily. I can't tell you how many home automation channels there are. And they have a shit subscribers. Now they say the, the Philips smart bulb, you can be hacked through that or something. Oh, oh. No, it's good too. Yeah. I watch a lot yeah, of video yeah, game yes, channels. Yes, where there is video games. Charlene, Everybody who has an interest. But Charlene, yeah. did Charlene, you want to say something? Watch? No, no, you brought up those smart light bulbs or something. I bought those. How did those work? Because I was like, <laughs> what do I do this now? <laughs> you you just screw light. it in, and what, like, do you need Alexa to make it work? How do you make it yeah. work? There's yeah, use or Google app. Home. You gotta, gotta read the instructions. Oh, it's I never really do that. App. I make it's my usually... husband read it. <laughs> I yeah. hate reading instructions. See, we could do a video on that. It's like how Charlene <laughs> learned her smart bulbs. Five minutes, 10,000 people. I don't know what it is. As yeah. I got older in my life, I don't like to read instructions. I want to just know how to do it without reading the instructions. Don't read instructions. Put <laughs> bulbs in now. So a little Five little... minutes. A little show and tell. Has anybody done um, any of the uh, had any any uh, immersive um, experiences with um, uh, virtual reality? No. Oh, well, you got to get can't it. do it. I got astigmatism. So I bought one of these. Yeah. This this what thing is that? Is, this Oculus. is an Oculus. Uh, this is it's, uh, Facebook's Mark the company that, pet uh, project. Uh, Facebook is the company that uh, is the par the parent company of this, and it is some of the wackiest fun shit that you could imagine. I mean, you're in. I mean, there are YouTube videos that you can watch that are done in three three hundred and sixty degrees. Wow. And how, sitting, do, how do you photograph it if it's in the thing? How do you how do you get the data out or the uh, video out? So there's this is connected to my Wi-Fi. It's internet. And oh. so it streams. You go to you go to the YouTube VR channel or the YouTube VR app, and the, uh, the Elton John is nuts with VR. He really? did his farewell concert in VR, and you're on stage with him. There are it... NBA has an app where you can sit courtside, and you're talking to people at the game who are no, in VR. You. They're in VR. There are other people, and you're sitting next to them, and you have conversations with them. They have movies that you can watch with people, 3D movies that you did, can watch. Did you ever see Steve Martin's movie called The Jerk? Yeah, yes. maybe that was black. <laughs> yeah, so so he comes up with the this idea that everybody has to have, and then it turns out it messes up all their eyesight, and they sue. Yeah, out. you're right. That's, He's ahead of his time. And this is what's going to happen. Well, yeah, let, me, uh, let me say this. I got one of those. He talks uh, to people here. without those glasses. Just, just. I, I got one of those um, um, uh, VR. Marjorie bought it for me for my birthday. Yeah. Because she, because she heard about it from her office. We sent it back. Why? Uh, I didn't see any real reason for it. You know. <laughs> Did you really it take? It gives me time? headaches. I get headaches. Yeah, some people do. I think it's like maybe you'll get headaches with 3D movies too. It was just it, it, it yeah. was it was clumsy to set up. Maybe they're not as clumsy now. So first of all, this this is completely this is it. There's no wires. Mm -hmm. This is not connected to a PC. This is the first one. Mm -hmm. This is all inclusive, mm -hmm. right? You set up the Wi-Fi and everything in here. You don't need a computer like the other ones for like video. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I it's a blast. You could play games. This came with three. What's the movies that that Patrick likes? Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. Wants to know if it does porn. This came with three star. Yeah. It does do porn actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does do porn. They have porn the, in. This came know. with three. And Alex, you sent it back. Movies. Yeah, I sent it back. <laughs> Well, this came three Star Wars games, and when you're playing, you yeah. are, I mean, you're standing, and you're fighting these people, and they're all, all these, you know, bots and these things, they're all around you. It is freaking wild. Really? <laughs> it's a lot VR, of... freaking wild. Alex dis reviews VR porn, 10,000. Uh, hey, hey, Rob? Yeah. Have you ever, like, bumped into a lamp or something doing it? Like, no, what happens I mean, is... You sit down or what? 
the way that it works <laughs> is you you set up the, you use the controller. This is the it comes with two controllers, mm -hmm. and when you when you get into a room, you have your open space, and you actually draw. You're around your free, you can see the room when you first turn it on and you draw the space and you actually looks like you're drawing with chalk all around you. And once that happens, it sets up a virtual wall there. So when you get close, it warns you you're getting close to a wall or whatever. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Rob, I figured uh, they had some sort of safety thing on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah Rob, absolutely. You know what? If you did that on a sidewalk, you'd have the chalk outline for the body. That's right. right. <laughs> No, it's actually, I mean, I've had it now for a couple of months, and um, it's, when you it's, walk around, how, much did it, like how much did it cost? Street, they have those right on the side. You pay five, you pay like two or three dollars, and they'll give you five minutes. I think it's good for this. How much? 400 I think. That's not bad. He's got yeah. a lot of fuck you money these days. That's exactly <laughs> what it is, because it's not making money for him. It hasn't. No. no. But. When you, it's not making money for who? Zuckerberg. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he's just, he pumped all the money into it. Every interview he gives, he says how revolutionary and great it is. It's but pretty the amazing. Are it's not like the same thing about Xbox. When it first came out, nobody wanted it. Uh, it you know, they all wanted the Sony PlayStations and the Xbox. Uh, now, I've never used any of them, but I uh, now I think the Xbox are re is really popular. All they have to do is just continue to stay the course. There is an app on here that I download. It's free. Yeah. You're up in the space station. Oh, you're sure. actually in the freaking space station and you can control and dock. Sure. You can dock with uh, like, you know, say there's a, a another uh, capsule coming and you can actually control it just the way the astronauts would and dock that like, you know, if you're going to get supplies or whatever. You could do that. Right. You, you learn how to move around in um, in. Uh, you know, weightless, uh, you know, and with no gravity, you move around. Can you stand the on the Enterprise, like on the bridge of the Enterprise and, and control the people there? Well, that's not, that's not, I haven't found that, but I'm talking about how to fly a plane, you know? You, you think yeah. all kinds of fun shit. I mean, you can get in, uh, you can get in the plane. So, so, who are the, who are the, the, gonna, the jets that fly in formation? What uh, are they? Called? Blue Angels. Blue Angels. You get in a blue angel. I gotta take off. I'm going to a 2D cafe, and if I if I make Could a video of it, I bet you I can get 10,000 online. But hey, if I'm over there and you guys are still on, I'll I'll patch through. Okay. They they couldn't afford 3D. Okay, no, we'll it's leave. A 2D we'll, cafe. We'll leave. So I'm we'll, I'm walking over there now. If you're still on, maybe I'll I'll pipe in, and you can put that as a tag. 2D cafe Kuala Lumpur. Apparently, it's Instagrammable. Everybody, all the influencers are going there, and it's the big to do in town right now. So, oh, hmm. really? Okay. All right. Well, good. Oh, yeah. good goodbye to you. Uh, let me uh, call that Starbucks here. Yeah. Let me see. He's number five. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Is that it? Okay. Then I get rid of him. Bye bye. There we go. He's gone. I'm leaving Jeff, uh, Josh Wheeler in there because he wrote and said that he had uh, his connection went poor and then his computer locked up. And he will try to call back. So I'm leaving his space available. We have some spaces available there, folks, on the, on the page. Um, in fact, if I move, let me see here. Oh, here we go. Here comes Jeff Stein. Okay, I can I can put Jeff in uh, in here. Uh, let me see here. Uh, but, 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 but he would be number five. Okay, so that's where we Char were with. Uh, what's Charlene the name? had a video. Her with Joan Rivers, but Charlene, where were you in that video? You said you were in the. Oh, video. you were dressed up as Madonna, right? Oh, uh, that. I was in it a little bit longer. That was a bad, you know. But I was next to her. I guess if you're looking at it on the right side. On the right side. Yeah. On, yeah. on uh, screen right. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, hey, listen. Uh, let me. Uh, I got. Uh, you know, we aren't. We aren't getting many li viewers tonight. Last night when we were yelling and screaming at each other, I think we almost hit forty. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm sorry. I've. If I, in order to be able to get a lot of viewers, I have to have people hate each other. Uh, <laughs> I, I. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. Okay. All right. Hi, Jeff. How are you this evening? I don't care what you want to say. Oh, well. <laughs> then, then, and then and risking non-monetization, fuck you. Yeah, um, 
Uh, uh, Sunday, ticket, he might not get that. Uh, somebody is uh, Sunday is the Oscars. Uh, how many yeah, here I'm, care? Oh, I'm watching. Me and my mother watching. So <laughs> well, I, I watch it every year, even though there's no host. You don't I'm care, Scott. Play. Scott doesn't care. I don't watch movies. I haven't been to a movie. Uh, in like, even though I yell at the TV. Years. Why haven't you gone to movies? What's wrong with movies? Yeah. They're too expensive. Oh, we yeah. got well, screen Netflix. What do we need movies for? Yeah. I got, uh, enough, I got enough streaming content at home. I don't need to go out. <laughs> well, a lot, a lot of, the, bucks some of, some of these. Some of these, some, some, some of these movies were on Netflix. That Irish movie. Oh, you mean like the Irish that horrible movie? Yes, it was it horrible. It was boring. I tried I watching didn't watch it. Again. That Alex said it's uh, if anybody really wants to listen to the complete review of, of who we think is going to win and who we like and so on, uh, this week's episode of uh, Michael Snyder's Reviews, which is on the gabnet.net page and can also be heard on our 24 7 channel, we, we do our prognostications and our. You know, it, we set it up in two things. Who do you think is going to win, and who do you want to win? Okay. Uh, do you actually have a conversation with them, or you just <laughs> intro them and outro them? Uh, uh, the t several times that I've listened to the uh, I, I, Mike, uh, the I, Schneider. You know, I have a conversation with them. Uh, it's it's minimal, you know. Well, uh, uh, yeah, but in this case, it's ma it's much more than that. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, one to put up then but every now and then we go into we don't don't agree about something and maybe i've seen it you know and we t we that, argue that's that. the kind of stuff you want to hear yeah well apparently not uh anyway uh uh actor in a leading role oh here we go ray renati is here okay oh, ray, yeah. ray likes movies yeah yeah ray likes movies of course Her ray likes Douglas. movies what let me see, Ray, Renati, Renati, uh, Goomba, Goomba, Goomba. It's a different thing now. It's a bunch of numbers and letters. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, Unless he went back to the that? old one. Ray Renati, what the hell is going on here? Okay. Wait, Can you hear me? Come on. Yeah, 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 hold on a second, Ray. Gonna am going to find you now. You're you're that, uh, I think it's the, uh, it's the five D A D four three E six dash three D B dash one. Yeah, you really got to change your name. Uh, I think that's you. Okay, I think that's you. Yeah, but you 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 don't have your camera on. Ray. 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 I think he's setting up. Hey, it's here. <laughs> He Ray, can you hear us? There? Ray, yeah, can you hear us, Ray? No. Fuck. Ray. Oh, I don't know if oh, he thinks God. he's anyone. Uh, he just lost your bonetization, I think. No, <laughs> Ray, are you there? No, nah, nah, he's not there. Well, let, me get, let me get rid of him. I hear him grumbling, I think. There he's we go. Here funny. he comes again. And now he's going to try again. And <laughs> everybody, everybody else goes bad. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> Everything Alex goes is trying in. to monetize. Fuck this. Uh, can you hear? <laughs> yeah, we can hear it. Now let me see if I can find you. Which one are you? God, I don't know which one is you. DAD 479. Yeah, I don't know which eight. one is him. Uh, I'll try this again. Yeah, there we he go. Just, he doesn't come up. He cut out. And he cut he, out he, again. Oh, yeah, are we going to have to go through this all night of having him call and not call and call and not call? He gave the, he gave the cut sign. Yeah. And, and, and Charlene having her camera shoot at the ceiling. I'm and, sorry. I'm uh, looking for pop. The hell? Uh, Did Tony sell you those curtains? I think Tony. Oh, we got, we got the guy coming to put uh, repo for the front. Oh, Do what's we? What? Hey. We're doing the porch. Wait a minute. Everybody, calm down a second. We're trying to do a show here. She's using the AI stuff. Yeah. She's got curtains. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Charlene, what, what was on those curtains? The, the writing on the curtains? Oh, I have like a nautical theme in my kitchen. Mm. That's a nautical so, theme. So it says like uh, crabs and, you know, here I'll show you. It's like a, like it looks like a red lobster or something. 
Uh-oh. Let's see, and they have clam bake. Oh, did you get uh, those? Oysters, oh. crabs. It, it has like a nautical oh. thing. Oh. Well, oh, Let's see. see. Well, where is it? Where is it? Let's show it to us. Yeah, show us the curtains. Oh, we just lost your signal. There we go. Uh, well, where, where, where is it? Can you it? see it, Mike? No. I don't want to touch too much, y'all. Really. Well, wait a minute. All we can see is you. Uh, wait, wait. How can I Dirty. get it? She's in the kitchen. If I start turning the camera around, That's I'll right. lose everything. That's my finger. <laughs> there you go. There, there we go. Curves under, over the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, no, it is. Titans. Well. Titans. <laughs> well, everything looks so neat. Oh, I got my little toes. I'm getting dizzy. Her. Sit down, Charlotte. I know. Please. I don't want to yeah. touch anything with the camera or I'll lose it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I couldn't even find my tripod tonight. I folded it up, and I don't know what happened to it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, that all. Uh, thanks, uh, Ray and uh, and and Charlene. Oh, they ruined my whole Oscar else. discussion. <laughs> so forget that. Oh come on! I was trying. I, to, I was trying to come up with some kind of content here. You know. I don't know what I'm missing. So did you ask uh, Larry Brown who he's voting, uh, you know, wh- who he voted for? Because he gets the SAG screeners. Uh, th- did you, you know, compare? Uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him. Uh, Actually, I'm very sorry. I got to tell you something. I'm very sorry that I didn't watch Harriet before I voted for the uh, for the Screen Actors Guild Awards. Because I would have given my vote to Cynthia Erivo who is one of the nominees this year for Best Actress. Uh, it is a superb performance in what is a superb motion picture. I was, had no idea Harriet would be that good. It didn't, didn't interest me that much. You know, Harriet Tubman, okay. you know. Now, after watching this movie, I'm really pissed that uh, Trump didn't want her on the $20 bill. Uh, that's what I thought of, Alex. Yeah. I mean, uh, he, he wanted to be on the 20 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, brother. <laughs> you know, he didn't want to waste the money printing somebody else when he's going to put himself on. Yeah. I'm going to put anybody on it. Me. But I, as long I, as he's dead, I don't care where you put him. Hey, in Trump we trust. Yeah. Stick him where the sun don't shine or whatever. Fold him five ways. And yeah, yeah, fold him five ways and put him where the sun put don't him on shine. The yeah, exactly. Exactly. So anyway, um, um, uh, so that, that's my Oscar talk for tonight. I don't know. It's not worth it to go for that. Anybody see any of the movies this year? What are the movies? Well, here they are. Ford versus Ferrari. Oh, that's dominant? I wondered if it was. I saw it. It was great. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's a very good movie. Uh, yeah. The, as as uh, race movies go, it's pro- uh, I mean, racing movies go. <laughs> car racing. You're right. The car <laughs> racing movies go. It's really one of the best. Um, we had the uh, Irishman, terrible That's picture. I thought it was horrible. Just we horrible. know you hated Such it. Such a yeah. disappointment. Uh, Little Women, which I haven't seen. Marriage Story, which I've seen. Good picture. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which I did. I didn't Great. like. I didn't like initially, and then uh, I. It's uh, grown on you. Hmm? It grew grew on me. It grew yeah. on you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay, now let's see here if I can, can get Ray Renati in here. Yeah, yeah. Why can't I hear? You? But Ray, What's going on with Ray? Ray, if you can't get do it, no, he's not. having a problem with the board. Yeah, well, yeah. you know, I mean, then then d- d- get it fixed oh. and come back and call us. You know, well, play with it. It's well, no, we uh, I haven't got time for people to play with their equipment on the show. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm trying to do a program here, and that just uh, becomes in between it. <laughs> you know, not and, on and the I, and, and he on the... I, and he doesn't even have his video up for some reason. I I have no idea why. I can't. I, uh, want him. Huh? I see Ray. I, I know, Ray. but he's not coming up. Uh, oh. oh, I see what the problem is there. I see like his picture. Yeah, yeah but, but but it it uh, I I don't even know what what his name is anymore. You know, it was Goomba, and then it changed to. Numbers and letters. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. and the numbers and letters that I have here that's probably think, him does not show a picture. Okay. I think I can find it. Um, I know you can find it. Oh, God. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I really don't. I want to do a show here. I don't want to sit here and have to play technology. 
mm-hmm. you know. And and uh, on top of that, I don't know why I don't get his uh, his picture up here using the DVI. Uh, so, then that's uh, that's uh, what's isn't that who, who is that? Okay, let me see here. No, that doesn't work. There, that's uh, that's that's uh, Charlene. So I'm still looking for him, and he would be <coughs> this, and he's not there. He's not the. He's not available, and he it just comes <coughs> up as a as a as a as, look. I'll show you. It comes up as a logo. Look at that. See that? Okay. So, uh, and I think we lost him anyway. Mm. You know. So I mean, I just I, I, I don't need this. Mm. I don't need it. I got Too other much things. aggravation for you. Alex, I got right? no. I got other things to do with my life. Rather, I want to do a show. I don't want to sit here having to sort out everybody's technical problems. Uh, if if you if, you know, figure out why you're having a problem and call me back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I being cranky? No. The way to do it is to call Skype, do a test call, and then you can see if it's working. That's that's one way of doing it. Yeah, they do have a test call thing. Yeah, I, I, rich I, lady. But also, his picture wasn't coming up for some reason. That could have been something else. Yeah, yeah. I do a test call almost before every show. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, oh, now my stomach's bothering me. <laughs> I, oh, uh-oh. I sent you the world's strongest coffee. YouTube dot com. Uh, in yeah. your messenger. Yeah, a long time ago, a couple of weeks ago. I said it again. Uh, Alex, I watched the, it. Um, it's not the Imagine shirt, but it's John Lennon. That's It wasn't Imagine, but I always think, you know, because it's John Lennon, that's why I thought you had two Imagine shirts. No, no. That's the other John Lennon shirt that was put mm-hmm. out. There's a high, some... Uh, I, I think that was uh, Brie. That's Brie? I think it was. It, the picture was so small, it was hard to see. No, but it's not Brie. No, no. Oh, I don't have him yet. Anyway, where were we? Oh, well. So You're going through the... Oh, better... fu- fuck that. Oh, hey, fuck the... the movies? Fuck, no. Fuck the movies. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> F the movies. <laughs> uh, yes, I got a for you, Alex. Yes, Jeff. Yes, Jeff. I'm going to Miami next week. Yeah. Oh, cool. I know that you... You have a hard on for Miami. Well, I can't get a hard on anymore, so don't worry about it. You don't care anymore. <laughs> Alex hates Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Prostate took care. Yeah. And the drugs they give you. Actually, I can't. I can't. Atomic powered. I what? I thought it was atomic powered. Now my my what my penis? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and his it, pee glows in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> actually, the radiation I don't think has, has stopped me from getting has not stopped me from getting an erection. Um, but uh, I it, it it stops me from having the reason to get an erection. I think that's the story. You know, it's weird. Like a lot. It's strange. By the time they're through with me, my prostate has gonna it is gonna have turned out to be one big pin cushion. <laughs> you know, between the gold posts they put in there and the biopsy they did in there and now the seeds they're going to put in there. I mean, you know, in a way, I mean, Phil had his prostate removed. I'm wondering why I'm keeping mine. Why? If, why? if you don't have to remove it, uh, it's a lot less invasive. Yeah. Uh, having it removed was pretty damn invasive. You yeah. know, and because, you know, they said, hey, it's not going to come back. And I said, okay, you know what? If it isn't going to come back 100%, or it's not 100%, never is, but, you know, if it's not going to come back, rip it out, and at least I'll be able to sleep through the night and, and not have to get up 10 times to pee. Well, the percentage is that your, your prostate cancer will come back even without your prostate is about the same chances as mine with seeds and all this stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but, uh, but uh, um you know, I mean, uh, I'm just going, it's no good for anything. I mean, come on. It's just, you know. I, well, ha- having mine removed was a desperate attempt to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> what does it weigh? A couple of ounces or something? No, no. That's, that's the joke part. Yeah, that's the joke. No, that's what I thought it was. But that's I, the joke I mean, part. I don't know anything about this stuff, you know. 
because I don't really have one. Oh, yeah, yeah but you, you know people that do. Bree just went. Yeah, but I don't ever see it or weigh it. How, how big is the <laughs> prostate? I don't know. It depends on what you think of it. Small a melon. Tiny, a tiny little thing? It's like an almond, except mine was like a watermelon. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Bree just sent a picture, uh, a note saying, hmm, I don't know what that means. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, so it's Bree and Ray were both sending messages. Now we have nobody listening to this show because nothing's going on because everybody's having technical problems and whatever. You want to talk about the Democratic debate? No. I didn't, yeah, no, I no, didn't no. hear it tonight. <laughs> I uh, heard some of it. And Elizabeth Warren had this weird, I mean, her hair looked really odd tonight. Oh. Like, it was like all puffed up on one side. Well, maybe she's trying a new style or something. Uh, it wasn't it working, take, though. Who does that have to do with anything? Sounded he he sounded very presidential. And I, I, Andrew Yang said that we really have to give black people more no, money that, for no, college that, or something in the future. Yeah, oh, that that was uh, the guy that wanted reparations, the billionaire. What's his name? Steyer. He wanted mm -hmm. reparations for blacks and wanted Bernie. Because I black think, people it, are going to have they're really going to be poor in the future. Why? Because they won't have jobs or something. Oh, I don't know. black horrible. unemployment's down under Trump. <laughs> what do you got to lose? Well, here comes Ray again. Will we be able to see him? No, I got money. Hello, Ray. Can you hear us? Yes. Okay. Jesus. Now let me Sorry see. Let that. me see why what? you did. Why you didn't come up? You you you, you are cursing. Oh, your video is not coming up. Uh, what? Oh, there. You're using a new name now. That's the reason why. No, it was because I had two versions of Skype installed on the machine. And oh, there we I go. I didn't know it. There I had to go, go install one. There's Ray. Okay, finally. Howdy. Finally. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks. You know, you can always test your Skype before you go on by using the Skype test. Well, it had been working fine, so I don't know how. I don't know how. It was happened. a recent update, Ray. Yeah. Uh, if it did it on its own, uh, it, it could have changed some things. It lost my little picture, uh, you know, the... Uh, uh, That's the, what it was. Yeah. So uh, yeah. mine Here lost we, the picture, and I had to find it again and stick it, uh, stick one back there. Now we're down yeah. one more person. See? I mean, that's how boring this show is getting now. Let's get Alex, back... Alex, that was just me. I just shut mine off because I'm watching on Skype. I figured I don't need the extra bandwidth uses. I wanted to see how quick you would notice. Oh, okay. So, well, that was then, me. then that makes me feel... Even worse, that the reason why we had 24 oh. people was because one of them was you. Well, yeah. <laughs> doesn't everybody watch the YouTube while you're no. on your uh, Oh, now we're down to 22 people. Oh, here comes... Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Fuck. What's that noise? It, that's Bree. There's the 2D Cafe. Bree, you, you got a lot of noise going on there. A lot, yeah. a lot of noise going on there. I got some non-alcoholic beer here for you. Everybody's distracting this show. Jeez, almost. Uh, sorry. This is all over the place tonight. Huh? I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all over the place. Not to curse. It's Wacky Friday. Oh, God. You thought uh, last night was bad. This is... <laughs> yeah. Last night was two two ships ships upset me. What? I, I, see, I see why. It's the 2D cafe. It's two-dimensional. Really? It, Picture, yeah, you know, it's it's like a photograph. It's two D instead of three D. Wow. Anyway, hold on a second. Let me get Bree in here. So, what's the topic? Mm -hmm. oh, That's the question. Uh, <laughs> there is no topic. No okay. topic. Just when I, I tried to get a topic going, mm -hmm. and then uh, let me see Not here. My movie buffs on the line tonight. Okay, let me do this, and let me get Bree in here. Uh, 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 what's Bree's name now on this phone? Okay, there we go. All right. There we go. And he's... I don't know. Where are you? Just Why don't you just... Uh, are you going to eat? Bree? Oh, in the cafe. He's, he's muted. Yeah. Alex. Uh, yeah. I mean, because... Yeah, you, because you were complaining about the sound. Is, so. is when you show us a whole bunch of stuff like that, it, it's like distracting. Okay. Have this? Uh, this the lady you order from? Yeah. 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 So why? Yeah, that's uh, that that does. It's not no cultural diversity. That's so cool. That is. Oh, there's a little bit mixed in, but Jesus. Wait, what's what's the bath? Oh, boy. 
That's the hot tub. What is it? Public, uh, public bathtub. Do not sit here. We, we have a royal. We have a royal flush right now. My uh, God, that place is wild. Do, do we have a royal? No. no? I'll no. take the Seven Eleven over there. We don't have a royal flush yet, do we? No, we we don't even have a, a full house. We're one short full house. Oh, because I I put it up. Uh, uh, I I put it up here. Well, and... that's because you left ja uh, uh, Jason. Oh, I, I, I uh, what's see. His name on there? Here, here uh, we go. Uh, let me take it, the, he wasn't there. Let me do away with Gosh. this. There we go. Yeah, because uh, now you got nine, I think. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get rid of royal flushes and all that crap. Oh, Full I house. Just... I want to get rid of that. Okay, so we get rid of that. Okay. Oh boy. Well, anybody want to do a show here? Yeah. yeah. Everybody's yeah. busy That's showing us where they're having lunch and, you know. Hey, uh, I actually posted something on somebody's website mm -hmm. on a, their Facebook page, yeah. and nobody got mad at me. You know, uh, they actually liked it. <laughs> so, oh, really? And it, yeah, uh, uh, Steve uh, Stephen Pearl. Uh, he he said something about uh, Rizzo or and Lizzo, mm -hmm. and so I said I like Frank Rizzo. He cleaned up uh, uh, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and then he posted a video of Frank Rizzo beating up a news guy. And uh, and everybody likes the comment. Didn't so, Frank Rizzo? Uh, I, I didn't, get, anybody... didn't get Frank Rizzo get indicted for something eventually? Sure, he did. You know, <laughs> the guy, the guy was a total thug. Yeah. Who is he? Yeah. So he was the mayor of Philadelphia and the chief I think of that police. Was years ago. What decade uh, was that? Uh, 1980. And uh, yeah, and uh, Frank Rizzo. Huh? You ever hear the Jerky Boys? They used to have a persona, Frank Rizzo. Do you ever hear the clip? Uh, they did. Uh, yes, I've heard the Jerky Boys. Uh, they they do one in a carpet store. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yes. <laughs> Josh Wheeler said, "I'd love to do a show, the one night a week. I can call people. Uh, I I can call, but people won't stop acting like children for more than fifteen seconds. I see, I, I don't understand that, but." Uh -oh. Anyway, well, anybody want to talk about anything? So anyway, the debate tonight. Uh, so somebody saw it. Sure. I, I saw it. Yeah. I didn't. Yang is great, and he is. Who? Yang. You like Yang? No. Uh, Yang, right? Yang. No. I, yeah. don't. Do I, I like yeah, Yang. Like a progressive, yeah. right? I don't like Yang. I like Yang. I don't like Yang. I want the. I, go, I, li I like. I like his ideas. He has. He's a smart dude. He's got an. Ant he's thought out everything. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, what, 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 what do you don't do, hey don't send us pictures jeez almighty it's just isn't it's, yang it's, the guy that owned the islanders no 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 he was uh he had some sort of non-profit and uh here i, I can get rid of that he's okay. a non-profit techie guy yeah and a thousand dollars a piece or he's something a, he's a chinese guy that likes math <laughs> so, yeah he had the math pin on did you see it no, yeah, that's an acronym. For math, I, don't, I forget what. No, it doesn't mean math. It, it it's something to do with a charity, and uh, well, we well, just I, we just went up by talking politics. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I I don't see how that happens. You know, I, you know, you're delayed. So it's you know, how does that happen? I mean, believe it or not, uh, uh, Phil showed me this interview of Yang with Shapiro of all people. He did a great job interviewing him. It was excellent. Who's Shapiro? Uh, Who's Shapiro? Uh, ben Shapiro, this right wing guy. Uh, yeah. Never heard of him. Uh, oh, he usually hates anybody who's not Republican. But nah, he doesn't hate anybody. He's well, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, like when he does the sound clips on CNN and stuff. Yeah. But on that interview, he was great. Yeah. yeah. And so but, was Yang. But how yeah. did how did you feel about Buttigieg, uh, Phil? Uh, I thought he was very presidential. He had good answers. Uh, he didn't attack anyone except for Trump. And uh, I thought he did a very good job. He's smart. Yeah, he's very he, smart. He's very smart. I, I, I wouldn't vote for him for dog catcher, but he's damn smart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you'd vote for him for president, though. Uh, Mart <laughs> uh, Charlene. Yeah, as someone who saw some of the debate, I saw him speaking tonight, you know, on CNN. Mm -hmm. And he's very well spoken. Yeah, very. Whatever well. he said, it sounded so nice and he sounded uh, intelligent. He sounded like someone who should be a president. 
Yes, but but he that also sounded very nice. I in, liked it from both sides of his mouth about uh, the troops in Iraq and, and Iran, and not in Iran, but Iraq and Afghanistan. And it, he was he served in the military. Yeah. yeah, I know, but but he didn't say anything. It was all a bunch of rhetoric, and, oh, well, and so I, he, he spoke, but there was no substance there. Uh, I, he, I mean, come on, uh, you're talking about almost any candidate. Well, they all spoke like that, but Buttigieg was No, but you're really talking about Buttigieg. any candidate. I mean, Trump never had substance. No, uh, and the Buttig whole time he was running, he never had substance. Well, you know, he's and doing either. what he said he would do. No. But Buttigieg, you know, he he sounded good. I mean, he sounded like an Obama type, uh, you know, except he oh, very well had well, Yeah, and you know, intelligent he was, knows what he's talking yeah, about. It was yeah, like Obama, was Obama. Without, without the cadence. The cadence. <clears throat> Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. How about Ooh. Biden? How was Biden faring in this? Biden, oh, we uh, felt hard. Oh, he was yelling a lot. Uh, Biden. He, he sounded Biden. like uh, he was fumfering around. Yeah. He sounded like you know. I hate to be like a what do you call that? When ageist. He's an ageist, but he doesn't sound too good. And he sounded you know, like that in 1988, Charlie. Uh, you know, I, I I think he's losing it a little bit. He's a know. stutterer. You yeah. know, what, you know what's kind of interesting. Did anybody watch the video I showed of the Iowa caucus back in? Oh, Alex. Yes. I like the way. Was that uh, Michael Billy? That was Michael Billy. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't. You know, I missed him. I came right after him. I think. Yeah. But I like what he said. He said it's like his high school dance or something. Yeah. It looks like a huge yeah. gymnasium. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I like that you any... showed that. Thank you. That I got uh, a feel uh, for Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad you liked it. Now let me say what I got to say. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, um, I'm filibustering. Sorry. Yeah, we're interrupting. The um, uh, the thing that I found amazing about it because that was in God, what year was that? It had to be. What, oh, wait. What? 2007, probably. 2007. Yeah. That probably sounds correct. Yeah. yeah. 2007. Uh, oh, uh, and, and to see who was running. I Hillary. almost well, Hillary, Hillary was Hillary running, sure. and Obama was running, and Biden was said running. Didn't have a chance. Can uh, I finish what I'm before. saying? Huh? Biden was running at that time. Yeah. But there was one other one that they mentioned the name, and uh, it's, I think it started with a D. As last yeah, name. Dodd or somebody. Like yeah, that. I, you know, I I hadn't heard that name in twelve years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know? Uh, but did you like what you saw? I mean, wasn't that kind of interesting? It's a very, very grassroots people getting like together. It didn't look like such a big deal, Alex. Huh? It didn't look like such a big deal. No, it, it was it was actually very neighborly, you mm. know? I mm. mean, and people, they get there and they, they all want their person and uh, they try to convince people from the other lines to come over to their line. And at the end, they start counting the length of the lines and whichever <laughs> line is longer wins. That's it's like strange. from the eight seventeen hundreds or something. Yeah, it sounds strange. It's from another it's century. It, it sounds you strange, but I'll tell you something. Future. I think that I would feel more that I was uh, saying, you know, exercising my right to vote better that way than plunge than you know just like clicking uh, down a lever. You know, you're a log guy. You know, I, I I think this is going to be the last caucus after the debacle with the uh, the phone app and and all of those things. I got a feeling that it's it's there isn't going to be any more caucuses in I, Iowa. I got a feeling you're wrong, Phil. I Why? do too. They have to. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, go go what ahead. Are, that's it, what they do. Yeah, I that's... mean, they can caucus, but they don't have to show it on TV. But they're still caucus. Ray, what what what? It, you it's a to? state law. And uh, it yeah. would have to be changed, and the Democratic Party would have to pressure Iowa to uh, well, stop it, I, and the, and the, Iowa the, would have to decide. The guy who's the head of the DNC, he was uh, saying uh, I think about firing him, number one, and also the guy from Iowa who was the uh, head of the DNC there, or the, you know the Democratic thing. Yeah. They, they were looking at getting rid of those guys, but uh, you know I I don't think that uh, they were too happy with it and the candidates weren't happy and I, I really think that uh, it's 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 the beginning of the end for that type of no. well is, it, by the way know. is uh, Bree still it. there uh, I don't see Bree no, no he's not here oh he's, there's like walls like white walls he's, he's not Camembert is here yeah, yeah but is Bree that frozen 
Bree's thing? Well, I don't know what happened to Bree. But anyway, let's go back to that. Oh, boy. Uh, yes. Yes, Tony, did you have your hand up? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. Who Jeff does. Who's... Jeff is waving. Yeah. Oh, oh, Je- yeah, I, Jeff yeah. is waving. Yes, Jeff. Okay. As far as Vermont, I'm um, sorry. Uh, Iowa. Iowa. Vermont, whatever. There's the basic plan that they have is only good for certain people who are available at a certain time. So, in other words, if you have a job and you can't get there. Oh, it's in the daytime? Yeah, it's at a weird time. No, it isn't. It's at, no, it's at, it's at night. Yeah, it's like 8 o'clock. But still, you know. If, All right, but, but the, same is, the same can be said. The, the same can be said about voting. They're voting off hours or a certain time to a certain time. And if somehow you can't make it in those certain times, you can't go vote. Well, yeah, but they're. Their times are very. Uh, All I'm saying is that what I found. What I found is up until now, everybody thought the Iowa caucus was charming, until mm-hmm. this year, and something went wrong. And the they thing that went the and the thing that went wrong, wrong the thing that went wrong had nothing to do with the Iowa caucus. It had to do with the methodology used to getting the votes yeah, from I each did. of the precincts, uh, which is the app. If they hadn't had that app and they still phoned the thing in like they always did. You wouldn't be. You wouldn't have had any problem this year, and everybody would have said, "How quaint and how nice." The number of people who who showed up was substantially less than than were there the last presidential. It, it was it was about the same number. It wasn't substantially less. And by, was, by the way, a little, bit, a little bit lighter, but yeah. What you not, saw in my in my in my tape in my video was uh, just one precinct. Uh, And as a matter of fact, in that place where we did it, there were two of these caucuses going on. There was one in the gymnasium, and there was one in another big, large, I think, where there was a stage. It was like uh, where there was a a theater that they were doing it in. So there there were two of them going on right there. Yes, Phil. They said there were 1,700 precincts. How do they do that? What, what is a precinct in, in, a, in a caucus? A precinct is, like you saw in my video, a group of people getting together and... and that's, that's is one, it a high school gym or something? That was one that, precinct, mm-hmm. yeah. That was so one. 1,700 of them in Iowa? Yeah, sure. At least, wow. yeah, because there's a lot of high schools. Like they that. do them in high school gymnasiums and auditoriums and so on, yeah. They're like voting. We're, where is this video? It's on YouTube or something? No, I ran it on the show at the beginning of the show tonight. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Hey, hey Phil, in, in my little hometown in Iowa, which had 5,000 people, we had yeah. four precincts. So, four, oh, four in a That's town of 5,000. So, What's the population of Iowa? It's a, it's a, right around 3 million, I believe. Okay, so if Buttigieg got 560 and and uh, and Bernie got like 560 something, uh, and the other ones got 300 and 200, uh, and some even less than that, that's like less than 2,000 people uh, that uh, uh, for the total count for no, 1,700. No, 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 no. no. No, that, I saw that on the, the thing. Well, how many? It, it said Bernie, five sixty-two. That was the and, amount of precincts. Yeah, that was I think the that's precincts. The number of delegates they got. Delegates. I thought there was forty. That was the delegates. amount of delegates. No. Uh, I don't think I don't think they have a thousand delegates from. No, they have about three thousand delegates. I believe I saw that. Re- oh, so the, those are for, delegates for the state well, for the Iowa State Convention. There's like three thousand delegates. The Iowa State Convention, then they. Uh, no. they, they designate a proportion out the delegates to the national convention based upon exactly. that. Exactly. Okay, so exactly. you saw those that's num- Okay, yeah. so those numbers that were below them when they were showing them as to what their count was, that that's delegates, not votes. Right. I I, uh. I think so, yes. Yes. And and I think Buttigieg had two more delegates than Bernie had, something like that. Not at the moment. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, it's it almost like, it's almost uh, over. I think I think we could pretty much say it was a tie, but I think we yeah. also pretty much have to say that the winner in it was Buttigieg, only because nobody expected him to do that well. He's and now a major. Con- he wasn't a major contender a week ago. He is now. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know, based on his performance tonight uh, in New Hampshire, 
and uh, his performance on the vote in Iowa, I think he's going to be somebody to contend with. Yeah. During what, what the, do you uh, think, Rob? Do you think he's going to be in contention? It's really hard to say because I'm not following it, right? Yeah. I, it's hard for me to make any kind of a judgment call on it, but I'll tell you what, if he is, he's going to get my vote, right? So that's how I look at well, it. Well, anybody who, who makes it, anybody who runs, <laughs> I'm going to vote for. Right. But so I, that's I, how I, I look at hope. it. I haven't, I had last year, or I should say last season, last presidential season, I watched all the debates. I participated in blah, 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 blah. This time around, it's just, I'll cast my I, vote. I, I'll, for I'll tell you why I, again, I think Buttigieg has the best chance of beating Trump. Okay, and don't give me any smirks, Phil. I'm just giving you my reasoning. Because, more- because he's fresh. You know, there's a freshness about him that Trump- you don't get that you don't get with any of the other candidates. I agree with you. You're from San Francisco. Yeah. And now you live in New York. So you're surrounded by Oh no, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. That's my only fear, right? But that's, that, but that's not my fear because I don't think I think that as somebody and you're from the New York area at one point, yeah, uh, and I'm from California, and we have a tendency to think of these people in the middle of the country as yokels, okay, <laughs> and as well, stupid. And I don't know if they're that stupid, okay. You got to remember, you got to remember, three million more people than Trump's people voted for Hillary. They were in the so, wrong place. So, That's right. Yeah, they the, were in the wrong and, place. And, and the gerrymandering that's gone on over the years and all of that. That has nothing to do with it. But, but okay. I mean, the Electoral College it was the game they played, and they played it very well. Uh, yeah. I don't think the Democrats are going to let that happen this time. Wow. Uh, uh, and, and I, But I do think that we have to realize that in a popular vote, America was smarter than we gave him credit for, you know? I think that uh, uh, Bernie said, or it was the news that said, that the voter turnout in Iowa was much lower than it was during uh, Obama's... Uh, uh, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, it was. That's it. It was and, yeah. and if that's the case, that's not going to bode well for Democrats. Right. That also might have been hangover from a lot of people feeling like Bernie got screwed. Well, well, you know, you had people who who were Bernie people. This is this is what yep. I don't like about the Bernie people. Who were yep. Bernie people, and when Bernie didn't get nominated, they voted for Trump. Now, right. how do you how do you go? How are you for Bernie <laughs> and you vote for Trump? I mean, I, even Phil will agree with me. That's a pretty it, it's, it's a pretty far fetched. If, if Tony stays the course, he likes Bernie, and he told me he's voting for Trump. So um, I, I think they robbed Bernie yeah. last time. To tell you the truth. I yeah. think he got robbed. I agree. Yeah. I had a How bad, did he I get robbed? Third party last I time. think Hillary, well, Hillary, uh, Hillary, Hillary ran. Sh- Hillary sh- ran him out. She was getting the answers to the uh, debate beforehand. Come on, you can't say yeah, no, that. No, she did, did. She did. Uh, uh, um, that was against Trump. She got the answers. No, I'm, no, I'm not. She she's an elitist. She thought she was. But I think answer. I think she that running Bernie. Election. She never yeah. was stumped. She just sat there and wrote her husband's coattails. Like, I'm going to win. Like, it's coming to her. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is that um, I think that Bernie is a loser. I just don't think he can win. I don't He's think. Huh? What? He's a government. But you know what's amazing? How, answer me this question, Alex. How is Bernie resonating with the young? How is Bernie resonating with the young? He's they resonating like very well, and they like him, but also they like Buttigieg. Those young people would try to get No, I give you that. I give you that. But you yeah. notice Warren and Biden are resonating with anybody. Well, I, it, listen, if I were Biden, I would beg right. out about now. And so, if I were yeah, Elizabeth yeah. Warren, I'd start walking for the door, too. You so know. here's the big question as you as we get to this next election, as of uh, after three plus years of what we've had for the Democrats, do they rally? They didn't rally. I, uh, Tony, you didn't vote for Hillary. You said you voted third party, right? I voted third party, yeah. So, um, so would you do that again with the, the fear? If, if you don't like who the Democrats are going to put up there, your vote not cast. It's not going to matter anyway. I'm in New York. Oh, it didn't matter because the state will go with the Democrats. Well, that's a, that's the thing that pisses me off about all of it is that my vote doesn't count. I live in New I'm York, and, right and, and my vote around. my vote gets winnowed down to 79 electoral votes, and 
whether I go out and vote or don't vote, that's this, how I feel uh, too. New York well, is going California, to is going to is going to go Democratic. In, okay. in California, uh, I could vote for Harold Stassen, and it wouldn't make any difference. That's right. Yeah, yeah, and and I I think that's maybe why we have to go to the popular vote because I mean uh, uh, I, I just find that uh, I don't like having my uh, my 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 vote. Uh, just yeah, kind of counting, but not counting. You know, I yeah, want to feel that when I vote, I'm adding to a number. I know, but you know my argument. My argument is then the three states, or maybe who cares? four, who gives will a shit? control the entire who gets elected. Fine, and because what, those states have more people than anybody else, and they certainly need to get served. I'm saying that if you win, get the most people, you win. Phil, don't those states pay most of the... Any election requirements? No, they get most of the federal welfare. So no, no, Phil. Well, Phil, 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 Phil also you didn't answer the question. Don't what? they get? Don't they pay most of the freight in this country? If you had to say federal income tax, yes. where yes. is it coming from? Well, it's coming from New York and California yeah. and Texas and Florida. But uh, let well, me. Florida, let me no, really, no. Yeah, let me say this: uh, that the uh, it's are you know the Democrats are all talking about how they don't want the election bought. They don't want it bought by uh, billionaires and millionaires and corporations, but yet uh, you'd be okay with the fact that these people are paying the biggest amount of freight, so their vote in the Midwest isn't worth as much, right? What? Hmm. I don't know. What no, I don't disagree with you. Popular vote is popular vote. It may be popular vote, but there's you don't get the Phil, say Phil, of the Phil. In, the, in every the, other the, place where you have an election whether it is a state or whatever the person who gets the most votes wins right. that's right. it yeah. when so you in high like, school when you were uh, voting for yeah. president uh, of the senior it, class I, the person well let me finish the person okay. who got the most vote wins what to me this? i understand that that's the way these things should be we're a representative republic and that's the way it is. Bullshit. We're a representative republic. What is that with representative? You added you added the word representative into the word republic. Actually, we're a democratic like republic. republic. We're a democratic republic, and a democracy would say the person with the most votes wins. Well, Every other election is like that. Yes, except the presidential election because that's national. You see, the other elections are statewide. Phil, the so, only reason why we had the Electoral College in the first place was because right. originally, in order to get the votes in from outlying That's areas, it, right. you had to have people go from those areas to Washington, D.C., which sometimes took a couple of weeks. That's why yeah. we don't have the Electoral College. Let me finish until later on. Yeah. And yeah. so that was the reason for the Electoral College. It simplified being able to tabulate the votes. We don't need that anymore. We right, can get these votes overnight. Can I say one thing, Alex? Yeah. How many elections do we have that are can national I, like that? You know what? what it is? Can I say one? Because this came to my mind when you just said that. And I could be wrong. But you know what this brings me back to? It's sad because Buttigieg looks solid to me, Phil. He really does, Alex. He, the sad he, part is, that, let me speak. Let me speak, Phil, before you interrupt me. Is that this country, they don't want to say it, but we're saying it. This country is racist. It was built... This was divided in the Civil War. And don't explain Buttigieg. It's a country that was traction. built on that's the backs of slaves. It was built and, on the and backs that's of why slaves. you could probably do away with the Electoral yeah. College because people can't win down there because they're still living like, living like it's the 1920s in the frame of mind. The Bible Belt is going to vote for a gay guy yeah. for president. And why is that? Because they're racist. I don't, I don't know. You know, uh, that, that is... That you mean is, sexist. That, that has right. yet to be... Wait a minute. Hold on a second. That, that has... Had, had, has yet to be seen, really, about you know what what's going to happen to uh, 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 Judge uh, with that southern he vote. Good, they elected Obama. Why would they yeah. elect? Yeah. A, what is wrong yeah. with my music yeah. here? They elected a black guy. Come on. Wait, it took, why it took is this? Why is this? Uh, black it, back or something? I don't know. I it, think it, we elected an idiot. Okay. So. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. Anyway, listen. I gotta go. Uh, for some reason, the music is like dumping itself down. What is this all about? I have no idea what this is all about. There we go. Okay, I got it solved. Anyway, hey, listen. Hey, everybody, everybody, everybody. That's it. Hey, uh, you know. Uh, we'll be back again, uh, what, uh, Monday. Anyway, uh, uh, everybody, 
Give a big wave goodbye, okay? There we go. That's our citizen panel. Thanks to uh, everybody. Uh, uh, we had Phil, we had uh, Scott, we had Rob, we had uh, Josh, who, and we had uh, Jeff, and we had Tony, and we had uh, 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 Arlene, and we had Ray, and of course, we had me. Uh, thanks to everybody for showing up tonight. Uh, we really appreciate it. It is. Uh, uh, a wonderful thing, and we're glad that uh, it, it went on. It got a little hectic at some times because of certain technical things, but that's the nature of the beast, okay? I'm Alex Bennett. Stay tuned now for the intersection with Jack Bishop, uh, and uh, he will be taking your calls as well. I'll be back again on Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday, 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 um, uh, and uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> oh, this is exhausting.